guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another video. Today's video is mainly going to be based on new car collection day. Now, this vehicle isn't one that we're going to be repairing, it's actually one that we're going to be breaking for parts. Um, so I'm not going to give you any clues yet as to what it is, you'll have to find out later on in the video. So today actually is Saturday, we're picking that car up on Monday. So I thought new car collection day, we've got to pick up a car for one of my clients now. So I thought I'd make a little video on that, just to give you guys a little uh, tour on that car. It's a Ford Focus Mark 1 ST. And we've got to go to Gloucestershire, so it's about two and a half hour drive. We're just coming up to the M25 now. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get that loaded up. We'll be there so like two and a half hours. We'll get that loaded up and then I'll have a quick walk around on that just to show you guys, you know, it might be interesting to, to some of you. And then obviously we'll cut forward to Monday and then we'll be on our way to pick up the new Kylie Simple car it was. That we have we have to go to Doncaster for that, which is like a four and a half hour drive up north. So again a lot of uh, a lot of driving, a lot of motorway miles and stuff, but you know, it's all, it's all good. So, you know, we've got the truck MOT in the last video. I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you that um, did comment and did react on that last video. Now, just bear in mind that I'm not a mechanic, you know, I'm just a everyday guy that's having a go at it. And this channel is just to show that if I can do it, then, then anyone can do it, certainly anyone can do it, you know. Uh, I'm going to make mistakes along the way. That's what it's all about, but it's how we, we bounce back from their mistakes um, that matters. The new lights for the truck have come today, so I will hopefully get them on at some point in this video. Maybe, I don't know, this video is not really based on the truck, so if we can fit it in, then all well and good. If not, that'll probably be another video. But yeah, let's, um, let's, let's crack on. Let's, um, let's get there. Two and a half hour drive, so. So we just picked up this ST for a client. I think it's going to be broken for parts. You can see in there, leather seats. There's a bit of a mess, got a smashed window at the back. Nothing really too amazing. Go is the ST170. So yeah, now we're gonna make the journey back. Make the journey back now. Drop this off. Got a little scuff there. And yeah. The client paid only 350 for this. It's seen better days to be fair, but you know. We make money off it by breaking it then so be it so yeah we'll head back now Um, but 
but yeah, we're just currently on our way, making our way up there now, so I know the camera's a bit jumpy, uh, apologies for that, but um, yeah, so new car collection day, we are on route, so I will pop back in once we're there, uh, I'll set the camera up in the back window uh, and that I'll reveal the car that way, getting it loaded onto the truck. So I'll catch you guys very soon. Okay, guys, just a little update. We are currently on. The, we're currently on the M1. Um, we're just going past Nottingham got an hour and 10 minutes left um, so we are still on track to get there on time we're still uh, we're still scheduled to get there on time so it's all good and it's not raining now which is a bonus so Right then, so here is the new vehicle to the channel. It is a 2007 VW Touran, two litre TDI. Let's have a look around it quickly. It's got these alloy wheels. I think they're 16s, yep, they're 16s. All round, pretty scuffed. Tires are good though. Come around to the other side. Now here is the damage. Let's see, let's see that one scuffed as well. But as you can see along here, badly damaged. It is a Cat S. Um, so I'd assume. I mean, that doesn't look. Hmm. Yeah, it's got the damage on the seal there. That door doesn't shut on there properly. So, that's the damage. Obviously, it's been swiped along the side up to here. Other than the usual corrosion and stuff, that will look to be fine. That was hanging off, so they put tape on it taking the paint off. Let's have a look inside. Here you have the seats, fine. It's done 181,000 miles. It's the seven seater. Well, they're all seven seaters, but super seats there. I don't even know if it starts. <laughs> Radio. All good. Love box. It's all good. Let's see if it starts. It's a six speed as well. 
Ah, oh, brilliant. Got the locking wheel nut there as well. Let's see if she turns over. Got no fuel. Sounds a little bit whiny. Sound great, does it? Let's have a look underneath. Any smoke? It doesn't sound great. Little compartment up there. Two little compartments. So, the plan with this car is we're going to be braking it for parts. Now, there's a good reason for that. A lot of you that follow this channel, that watch the videos, will know that I've got a caddy. Um, a lot of the parts from the Toran do fit on to the caddy. So the plan with this car is we are going to be swapping out the dash. So this is going to be going into the caddy. I'll put some pictures of what the caddy dash looks like. It's missing in that glove box. It's just sort of an open open space, but it's nice. Um, What's that? It's like aluminium style trim. It's got this little compartment here, which the caddy doesn't have. It hasn't got them big bumpy um, heat events as well. It just it's just a smarter dash. The centre console as well, that will go in, be going into the caddy. And the armrest. I think that's broke actually. Is it broke? Oh no, it's not broke. Sorry. Kind of a bit. So that will be going into the caddy because I don't have an armrest. In the caddy as well, I don't have electric windows. So we will be putting these door cards into the caddy, it doesn't have this, this chrome trim here and this, it's just a lot smarter. I don't know about the steering wheel though, what do you reckon? Do you think the one in the caddy looks better or does this one look better? Let me know in the comments. I mean it's a little bit worn there but it is a work van at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, we'll have electric windows in the caddy as well, we'll be taking the dash, putting that into the caddy. Uh, also the seats as well. I quite like these seats. They're a little bit more comfortable than the ones in the caddy. Um, there's a little rip there. Oh, again, not not overly worried about that. Um, these seats here. I'm going to be converting the van, the caddy van, to five seater. Um, it's all well and good obviously having the, the van, but it's only got two seats. So, you know, if you, you need to get more people in, um, you need a car. So what I'm going to do is take the seats out of this. I can use the van for work. I don't need to have a car to rely on to, to you know, if, if I'm ever in that situation. So we're going to be doing the rear seat conversion in the caddy as well. Um, also, we're going to be swapping these mirrors 
they're going to be going onto the caddy because if you look here, the existing ones are very, you know, in your face. Um, so these are a lot smarter. I'm going to get them color coded as well as the rear bumper on the caddy that's booked in to be resprayed. So that will be sort of all color coded. The door handles on this, they go onto the caddy as well. So I'll get the painter to paint these ones because it's a lot easier just to paint these because they're already um, they've already been painted. So they're not sort of textured as opposed to the ones that are actually on the caddy at the moment. So we'll be doing that. Um, AUX, do we have AUX? No. So that's the plan. And then obviously all the other parts that we're not going to use. The front end goes onto a caddy as well. They're very interchangeable, these parts. The front end on the Toran, sorry. Well, I can sell that. I could probably get four fifty five hundred pounds for that. A lot of you probably want to know what I paid for this. I paid without the fees four hundred and fifty pounds for this tour run. I think that was a brilliant price. Uh, with the fees and everything on top, uh, it was seven hundred and three pounds. So just over seven hundred pounds to get the car out. I went and collected it myself because it was I was getting a, a, a quote for, uh, from Copart. They was quoting me four hundred pounds just to deliver the car. So you know, I took took the day off work and and went and picked it up. I think I spent seventy pound in diesel. Um, so it was well worth going to pick it up. Hence why I've got the truck for this exact reason. So it's starting to to earn its money, so to speak. And there because. I won the car on a Tuesday, I think, and I weren't able to collect it until the Monday. They said you will have to pay a storage fee um, if it's not collected by Friday. That was £36. I don't agree with that, but it is what it is. So it comes to around £740. This car owes me to this to, to sitting here now. It owes me £740. Even with the mileage that this is on, um, I can't find one less than 1400 pounds on the net obviously clean clean slate no no damage so yeah it's not it's not going to be seeing the road again it's going to be stripped for parts um and i'm going to document everything along the way i think that would make for good content let me know what you guys think if you want to see me take this on if you think it, you know it's something different to the channel um, as well, we are going to be still repairing the cars. You know, we've, we've, we've got um, we've got another project at the moment. I'm not going to go into that just yet, but that should be a good little project. Um, and yeah, so this is sort of going to be gradual, um, bit by bit. I'm probably going to do the dash first. Um, so obviously, I'll be featuring the, the caddy on the channel a lot more. Yeah, it's just about you know, it's 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 content for the channel. I've been looking, you know, at different ways uh, that I can go down not just simply you know I know you guys like watching repairing the cars and so on but I think this is going to make very good content I'm looking forward to to doing this conversion um, you know it's, it's 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 quite a lot that's going to change in the caddy so yeah I mean let's um let's stop waffling on and you know we'll uh, we'll get it sorted now this video is obviously this video is out now hence why you're watching it and um, the next video the next two videos is going to be on the Peugeot partner because we've still got that to finish um, so there's gonna be another video on that there's gonna be another two videos on that um, and then we're gonna get stuck in with this along with the new project that we've got already so yeah I mean that's where we're at, at the moment I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video um, it's been filmed over four days if you're not following us already on instagram make sure you head over there and give us a follow it's car trader diaries um, and if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button it really does help the channel grow we're fast approaching 2300 there's a cat down there we're fast approaching 2300 subscribers so that's incredible um never ever expected to to, to get this far so i'm i'm over the moon uh, and if you like the video do hit the like button that'd be very much appreciated but i'm gonna wrap this video up for today take care and i will see you guys very soon in the next one peace